Now let's turn our attention to Southeast Asia. A corruption scandal has come up in the most unlikely of places, Singapore, a country known for its corruption-free image. But this reputation is being tested. A minister has been charged with corruption. His name is Subramaniam Iswaran. Up until today, he was Singapore's transport minister, but he has resigned because of the scandal. He maintains his innocence, but he has still stepped down to mitigate the embarrassment to the ruling party. And here's why it's a big deal. Singapore has not seen such a high-profile graft scandal since the 1980s. And the world is watching it closely to see how Singapore's ruling party behaves and whether they can still maintain their integrity after this. Here's our report. A corruption scandal has hit Singapore, something that it takes extremely seriously. The graft case involves this man, Subramaniam Iswaran, or S. Iswaran as he's more commonly known. Up until a few hours ago, he was Singapore's transport minister. He was also serving as the minister in charge of trade relations. But he has stepped down from both positions and resigned as an MP as well and as a member of the ruling People's Action Party. Israel says that he will now focus on clearing his name. But that won't be an easy task. The former minister faces a slew of corruption charges, 27 to be exact. He's accused of obtaining goods and favours worth about 384,000 Singapore dollars, or 285,000 USD. This is between 2015 and 2022. The gifts include tickets to plays or musicals in the UK, tickets to football matches, a private plane ride, business class tickets and free hotel stays, and also tickets to the Singapore Grand Prix. They alone were worth 350,000 Singapore dollars, or 260,000 USD. Iswaran allegedly received all these gifts from one person. Ong Beng Seng. He's a Malaysian billionaire, a hotel tycoon, and the person responsible for bringing Formula One to Singapore. Iswaran is accused of taking these gifts and also using his influence to advance Ong's business interests. The billionaire was promoting the sport. He needed help from the Singapore Tourism Board. Iswaran was Minister for Trade between 2015 and 2018. The minister also served as chairman and then advisor for Singapore's F1 steering committee. But even if the F1 angle didn't exist, Iswaran taking the gifts would still run afoul of Singapore's graft laws. Any civil servant is prohibited from taking gifts worth more than 50 Singapore dollars. They are supposed to give anything more valuable than that to the government. If the civil servants want to keep a gift more expensive than 50 Singapore dollars, they need to pay the full cost to the government. These limits apply to politicians as well. No one is allowed to accept valuable gifts of any kind. Singapore is clear on that. The island is famous for its tough stance on graft. It pays its politicians and civil servants well, so that they aren't tempted to engage in corruption. Iswaran's salary was over 40,000 USD per month, and he also had an MP allowance of about $12,000 a month. But it didn't seem to prevent Iswaran from allegedly taking the gifts from the Malaysian billionaire. Iswaran has proclaimed his innocence. He plans to fight the charges, but he still resigned from his posts. Singapore's Prime Minister, Lee Sin Lung, has accepted his resignation. This is the official statement. Look at that last line. Singaporeans expect no less. That's why Iswaran resigned. The people of the island demand incorruptibility and expect their leaders to walk the talk.